Well, now let's talk about motion of an object, both rotational and translational. We'll see that we can quite conveniently think of and express its energy as having a contribution from its rotational motion and a contribution from its translational motion. The total kinetic energy of the object is equal to a translational contribution plus a rotational contribution. I have a separate video that proves this. For right now, we'll take that on faith. We can express the translational component as one half mv squared, m being the mass of the object, v, the speed of its center of mass, and the rotational contribution to the kinetic energy, one half i omega squared. Conservation of energy works just the same way we've seen it before. Total energy at state two equals the total energy at state one, plus the non-conservative work done going from state one to state two. Though here, we're expressing the kinetic energy as two separate contributions, one from translational motion and one from rotational motion. There can also be separate kinds of potential energy, for instance gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy.